Welcome back to another video. Is it possible to have fun while exercising your piano skills? Most of us associate uh, piano exercise with repetitive and boring sort of uh, etudes or whatever that you have to repeat. They have little musical value and they just work on strengthening particular parts of your playing. Uh, these exercises invariably play a certain role in every player's evolution. Uh, but I'd like to show you a few ideas of having more fun while still exercising the piano. And the trick is to use pieces that you actually play to sort of challenge yourself by making them more difficult. I'm going to give you a couple of ideas. Let's start out by picking a fairly simple and well-known piece. But you can, you can do this with any piece that you already know how to play. Uh, I'm going to take Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Add a little mistake there, but you get the idea. Uh, so the idea is to simply take this and make your playing more complicated. The first idea is to take this piece and instead of playing uh, single notes, play octaves. I'm going to play this uh, an octave lower, by the way, just so you can uh, get a visual for exactly what I'm doing over the entire piano. So now instead of playing single notes, I'm going to play This immediately adds a challenge, uh, both in stretching your right hand, but also in hitting the notes, hitting the actual octaves as you play. If this is too slow, you can try and speed it, speeding it up. So that's another way that you can make it more challenging. Of course, you can choose any piece, really, that you already know, uh, and try playing it in octaves. Here's another idea. Instead of just playing static octaves, why don't you play alternating octaves? So now you're going to alternate between the two notes in the octave. This adds another dimension to the challenge and Actually playing this sort of tremolo is not very easy, unless you're already sort of in an inter intermediate to advanced stage. It's very important that you play slowly, of course, and you make sure that your playing is clean and even and everything uh, sounds out uh, with or gets an equal weight. Uh, so you hit all the notes with an equal amount of force behind them. Here's another way of complicating things. So instead of alternating the notes in the octave, let's maybe try adding a trill up there, like this. So now you're just not just working on stretching your octave playing and, and hand, entire hand, but you're also working on strengthening your fourth and fifth fingers, which is important. You can make the trill uh, maybe a different interval. Not the most musical thing, but, but instead of doing fifth and fourth, try fifth and third. So, Actually, I haven't tried this before. Uh, it's, it's a bit confusing, uh, even for me. Another way of challenging yourself is to switch hands. So try and take the... And this, this really requires you to rethink your playing. But try taking the piece and having the right hand 
uh, play what the left hand previously did and vice versa the left hand play what the right hand previously did. This also works on your fingering. So you're going to have to rethink the fingering and this will also help you improve uh, your say uh, independence between the hands and actually many piano players think a lot or play a lot with the right hand and the left hand becomes a bit degenerate so it just like holds down notes or chords or this boring double octave so this will force you and to, to train your left hand uh, and help it evolve in the context of twinkle twinkle little star you can simply do And you can add all of the things that we spoke about to the left hand. So, I hope I've given you some ideas to have fun while you're practicing. Some of these things you might start out doing uh, as an exercise and find out that you're having fun just playing them and challenging yourself uh, and that's of course a good thing if you feel like you're actually enjoying the challenge as you play and the playing itself is musical that encourages you to practice more you should find or try to think about the special ways of modifying uh, known pieces to target specific weaknesses that you yourself have. So there's an infinite number of variations. Of course, I couldn't cover all of them in this video. Uh, so if these are already too easy for you or they don't work in your particular weaknesses, you should just sit down and find new ones. Maybe at some point you'll also grow out of these. So there's an, like, an infinite amount of variations that you can do. But I hope I've actually just gotten you started. Uh, that's it for now. I hope you've learned something interesting, and I'll see you next time. If you've made it this far, then I'm happy to put in a shameless plug for my sister's online jewelry store. She makes handcrafted jewelry, and she has an online jewelry store in Etsy. You should check it out if that's your thing. There is a link in the descri description and also in this thumbnail. That's it. I'll see you next time.